It's been so wonderful treating so many different people and uh, receiving wonderful smiles when they get relief. And most patients, we've had a uh, big relief. Walking almost at a 90 degree angle, and I'd never seen anything like that before. After he had just one acupuncture treatment, he wasn't completely upright. It's not a miracle, it's not magic, but he was walking a lot better and he grew his pain, and it was amazing. I think it's quite important to help people and support them, even if sometimes it means it's removing the pain with acupuncture needles and just improving their health so they can work. You can see most of the people carry uh, more than 70, 80 cases on their back and they have arthritis, they have a knee pain, back pain and shoulder pain, especially neck pain because of the putting the rope on their head. Nepal Pan Relief Organization Switzerland Geneva Gramin Bikas to Kishang and RDT Dolakaku Bisma Hamil Yutin to Sidir, the city Hamil Shuru Gorium. It's the 19th of March 2017, and Dothan and I are about to leave for Nepal thanks to all the donations from our wonderful donors. We have two massage beds and a whole clinic, and we're hopefully going to open Nepal Pain Relief new clinic in Characot, Dilka. Here goes. Okay, one cleaning ready to go. Just packed up the clinic, ready to go back after a really successful health camp. The Paul Payne Relief and Chucky um, are now working together as, as partners and hopefully we're going to have some really great volunteers coming in October. This is where you'll be working. It's fantastic. Hi, my name is Yussi. Uh, I'm a Finn and I'm volunteering for Nepal Pain Relief here in Charigot, Nepal, together with other volunteer Kelly. The most common cases that we have in clinic are the knee pains and low back pains and frozen shoulders and things like that. And I think it's because of the uh, way of life. अहिले दोस्रो चोटी आउँदै छु दोस्रो चोटी आएर अब अर्को तेस्रो चोटी पनि म आउँछु र सबै यस्तो रोगीहरु हाम्रो रोगीहरुको लागि चाहिँ यो यो कार्यक्रम चाहिँ अरु बेला पनि There's another case a young girl who wasn't injured physically in the earthquake but he has all sorts of difficult condition conditions. Um, as far as we can tell, 
she is suffering from the post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, yeah, um, she has involuntary body movement, shaking hands, shaking legs, and things like that. So yeah, a couple of well, hard cases, so to speak. It's one of those cases where you wish you could do some more. Oh, well, help him a little bit more. One of the hardest patients that I had a case that I had to deal with was in Papara. It wasn't an earthquake victim. It was um, a young lady who was been taken to the hospital where I was working. And um, she had, I think, endometriosis while she was pregnant. And they basically found her collapsed and passed out on the mountainside, having a miscarriage. And from that, then she also ended up having some kind of stroke. So she was, half of her was completely paralyzed. And she was 23. She was feeling a lot of benefit from the acupuncture and the moxa. Like literally, her hand would be like this normally, and just half an hour of moxa, and she could loosen it again. So it was a really big benefit for her and with her mobility. Um, and when I left, she was all saying things like, oh, you know, it's all about money. That's the only thing that counts anymore. And, you know, I couldn't disagree with her because I had to go, I had to go back home and, and make money. It's, it's heartbreaking, especially when they're pleading with you to stay.